Okay, Connor, there's a new trend on TikTok or YouTube shorts where this random guy approaches people and asks them, rate yourself from one to 10. Rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. 10. 10? Do you think others would agree? Yes. All right, let's see. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to 10? Top four. Top four immediately. Dude, okay, that's harsh. Like, I'm not getting the best image of her. It's well, a little okay, small. Anyone, bro, listen, I would not say four. Listen, anybody who instantly says 10 is already not a 10, okay? Okay, that's a great point. That's a great point. It doesn't even matter if you are a 10. It, just by saying that, you automatically diminish your value because your personality is seen as arrogant or conceited. Yeah, absolutely. If I see someone as a 10 and then they self diagnose as a 10, they're instantly below a 10. Like, that's how it goes, dude. Self-diagnose, yeah. just right, disease. Let's go one to ten. <laughs> Top four. What do you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Four. Four? Mm -hmm. Why are people so savage? He's, like, he's like mean, he's like a smiling guy there. Like the girl is also pretty nice. Like I think they're both like I don't know seven, eight, whatever. You know, seven plus. Like, yeah, it's like hard for me to exactly know what a girl wants to see in a guy, but I think like objectively from what I've seen, that guy is mm -hmm. not a four. And I think rating yourself lower than you think you really are is probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, definitely a better idea than rating yourself higher than you think you are. I feel like actually lying would be good in this one because if you say someone's a four, then what are you, right? Like, yeah. what are you yeah. at that point? What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Right now, I'm feeling like a 10. Do you yeah. think other people would agree? I Whoa. hope so. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? 8. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 7. 7? Do you think other people would agree? Maybe. Bro, but can we talk about how that girl rated that guy a 4 and then rated herself a 10? Are you telling me you can't improve yeah. in any aspect of your life ever? Like, come on. 10? Yeah, and she even said, I'm feeling like a 10. Like, that really wasn't the question. Especially after you said, oh, do you think other people are gonna... Like, people aren't yeah. feeling what you're feeling. Like, just for your own <laughs> good, to not embarrass yourself, just objectively give yourself what you think would be in a range of people mm -hmm. would give you and then drop it down one or two points and you'll look better. But the thing is, the, the thing is, you're not considering that maybe she actually thinks that like she's like oh other people will call me a 10 like because i a give lot people of these... way too much benefit of the doubt man yeah a lot of these people are quite delusional in the sense so i don't know go on a scale of one to ten i would rate him well i have a boyfriend but he looks sweet so i would rate him a six six all right what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten a ten a ten yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do you think other people would agree? I don't think I could ever rate anyone else higher than me. So if this guy approached me on the street, first off, I'd run away. Second off, I'd be like one, one max. If they go higher, then sure, that's a plus point for me. If they go lower, my egos is decimated. Yeah, I think it's too. You know, this is good, good looking girl. If she gave herself an eight or a seven, she would mm. probably get that. But immediately giving yourself just a 10, it just sounds bad. Maybe let's say you see the one to 10 system as everything like evenly distributed. So it's like one, like nine to 10 is like 10, 10th percentile. And if you mm. do think you're in like the 90th percentile, right? Yeah. Even if you do believe that, just don't say it. Just don't say it ever. <laughs> well, I mean, TikTok, bro. only a few specific people can say it. Like, you know, we got KSI will just arrogantly boast, you know, <laughs> and he'll get away with it because he's like, you yeah, know, he that, puts in that, the work and stuff. That's funny because, you know, we, we know him. He's like a character. This yeah, is a random was, person. We don't know this person. Exactly. You know? There's a big difference there. Every girl, I'm a 10 for sure. Every guy. Heck, I might be a two. <laughs> exactly. I mean, first of all, this is not a random sample. These are people that choose to do this. Uh, but also, I feel like the positive reinforcement for a lot of girls um, versus mm. when it comes to guys, at least in like the teen, early college years, it just mm. does maybe seem to be more like, I think girls have more social pressures in other areas, but I think yeah. confidence wise, a lot of times, a lot of them, they yeah. get a lot more, especially when yeah. you compare it to guys. That's why I, guys are like, I'm, I'm crap, I'm a one. I ask people to submit stories to me, and she probably still gets more messages than I do. Yeah. <laughs> and I get hundreds, bro, per day. <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I started that, like, J Schlatt series. I got 500 mm -hmm. emails of people telling me they're mm -hmm. depressed and want to end themselves. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to stop that. <laughs> Don't blame the girls and tell them to humble themselves and not think of themselves as beautiful. Tell the guys to become confident too. I think there's definitely something to say for the second half of that comment. I think telling the guys not to rate themselves as ones or see themselves as ones would be mm. helpful. I think most of the guys were pretty like, they're just kind of realistic. You kind of get just get told your plays in the world, right? Pretty obvious. Yeah. All right. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? An eight and a half. Do you think people would agree? I hope so. All right, <laughs> let's see what people have to say, okay? What would you guys rate this girl on a scale of one to 10? What you thinking? I'm thinking maybe like a <laughs> Seven and, seven, and seven and a half. Seven and a half. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? That's tough. 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep it humble. I'll say about an eight. So I'd give him like a solid, like a six. A six? Yeah. All right, what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Like a seven or an eight. All right, do you think other people mm -hmm. would agree with that? Um, maybe, but I mean, I'm not really worried about that, but. I respect that. I feel like when people do the one to 10 system, a lot of times that I've noticed mm -hmm. is people put the mean at seven. They don't put the mean at yeah, five. They don't, it, like it's, five it's is very terrible. Yeah. instead of average because you can't tell someone you're average you can tell them oh you're oh you're good you're like okay like right. telling someone it's you're like average, average is seven. like imagine you went up to a girl and told her oh you look average she'll be offended rather than which hey, means you're better true. than half the population yeah. congratulations most people are average that just is what it is yeah. like that is the that's definition the, of yeah. average yeah it's the definition of the average bro but it's still offensive for some reason i don't know i'd say like because uh, queens aren't average six what would you rate your riz on a scale of one to ten um um, I'd probably say eight. So you think you could get a guy's number right now? Yeah. All right, let's see. I gotta find a guy that's alone. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Matt, I'm Sydney. Nice to meet Sydney. you. Why is he... Dude, that's an interesting leg positioning right yeah, there. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> Good squat. Can I get your <laughs> phone get number? PR. No, I've been probably not. Why not? Hey! What? That looks so set up. I don't know what yeah, the heck that, was that. That's, so, that's so, okay. That's so weird. Because or maybe the all, guy was just something. weird. Yeah. Look, I'm just I'm just gonna spit reality right now. Mm -hmm. If that girl went up to 98% of guys not in relationships, and maybe some that are, asked for their number, they would say yes. I don't care the circumstance. I don't care if she said the weirdest thing ever. I don't care if she said, "I have an axe in my car. I'm gonna beat you over the head with it. Can I have your number?" They'd still give it to her. I'm not actually no sure about that. Maybe in the West. Yes, but over here, not really. I can only speak for the United States. Mark. Yeah, so in the rest of the world, people actually have self-respect. Like, people nope. will not give out their number to strangers. They'll be like, well, I don't know you, so leave me alone. So, like, like yeah. the approaching strangers is a thing that only happens in, like, the U.S., the U.K., or whatever. You can never do a cold approach. That yeah. is the scariest thing ever. I need yeah. some, like, setting or introduction. Like, cold approach scares me. My name's Damon. How are you? Good. How are you? My name's Sydney. Good. Can I get your number? Thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Have a good night. So why did you give her your number? She's cute and she's in school. So I mean, she came up to me. It's really cool. So I mean, not yeah. most girls do that. That's awesome. That is How true. easy was it to get his number? That's true. I'd say his approach was really good. Like I was confident going into asking him for his number. Yeah. And so I felt comfortable. Yeah. That's awesome. You made her feel comfortable. That's awesome. Bro. If a girl goes in, bro, you got a so high chance of doing that because no girls ever make the first move. Oh yeah, that's that's just universal. Move. That's a like if a girl approaches that's someone, also, you yeah. just have a higher chance than if a guy approaches somebody. It's like 10x higher. Like it's not like a few points like margin. It's like 10x higher. Well, that that is society. Women are the pickers and choosers. So you could get a girl's number right now. I bet you I could. The reason I got W Riz is because I got that southern charm. Can I get your number? Oh god. Hey, nice yeah. to meet you. My name's Griffin. I go to Wake Forest University, right? I was wondering if I could copy your number. Give me a reason to come back to UGA. I don't even go to school here. Where do you go? I go to Athens Tech. Hey, Athens Tech, honestly, better than UGA. Give me a reason to come back to Athens Tech. Can I copy your number? I guess so. Guess so? I don't Chill. To be honest. To I'm be gonna, honest. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a dumb. Dub for Griffin. Well, he did He did get the number. It's better than the last one. I really hope we find the last one. The la last one's a little tough. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, this is a redemption one for him. Um, he had one before where he had top mm. comment was Jeffrey Dahmer type Riz. Wake Forest <laughs> University, baby. Really what would you it. rate his yeah. Riz on a scale of 1 to 10? 3. Why 3? Well, because he was just like, give me a reason to come back. But I don't even go to school here. So I don't care. Then yeah, why did you give him your number? That's being nice. Charity work. How easy. Bro. I would rather her say no at this point than be like, yeah, there's some charity work. I never get the concept yeah, of going up to random people. If you just pick your partner based on how they look, it's just the dumbest concept to me. How are you just okay with approaching random people? I don't. To strike up a conversation, that's fine. And like you can, I don't know, get get your boredom out of the way. But like having a relationship, I mean, that's one way to start. You know, as you said, if a girl approaches a guy, they just all say yes. Like, what the hell is that? Is that really all it takes? People are that easy. Well, I mean, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, a lot of like relationships, a lot of them won't work if there isn't some level of attraction in the beginning. That's just 
by all mm. of that. It's just kind of like have evolved into it. I mean, obviously, if your relationship is just based on some, how someone looks, you're going to be in the 50% divorce rate percent, <laughs> like statistic, most likely. Probably. Yeah, but the, the cold approach, man, scares me, dude. Like scares me. <laughs> I can't get behind that. Yeah, I would I would be fine cold approaching, but now I'm not fine just because I feel like I could be recorded and put on the internet and I'm, I'm a figure now. So what if I approach someone and then somebody is recording like, oh, Pegasus exposed, like, bro, yeah, no the, shot. The funny thing for me, though, is like people commented like oh it took me seven times watching this channel to realize that connor is on the connor pugs channel like, yeah. people just don't even realize it's me i've done a face reveal twice and they didn't realize i'm gonna do it again guys i'm gonna face reveal again and get 100k again this dude. generic <laughs> so you guys realize who i am what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten a six a six do you think other people oh, would agree yes but good, good, i think good so All right, i think she's, she's a, a six <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know i feel like we have a different uh barometer but Okay. Yeah, no, we probably do. I th yeah. I think she's much higher than I think she's higher than the six, but I think that it's very smart to rate yourself. Yeah, maybe six, maybe I got a defective bit. system. Let's see, let's see. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? I'd give her a solid six. See, <laughs> look, look, it's a six. I okay, that guy is undershooting. Uh, yeah. Maybe I, okay. I'm also generous. I put mm -hmm. my mean at like seven because I'm an idiot, but uh, I don't know how math works. Put yourself on a scale of one to ten. Rate myself a six. A six? Do you think other people would agree? Um, yes. All right, let's see. What would you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? A three. A three. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> That's little, bro. He's ruthless. I don't think that guy's a three. I mean, he's a six. I think he's a six. You take an average guy and you take an average girl. Everybody's gonna say the average girl is a nine out of ten and the average guy is like a six out of ten. But I, I, I equalize it. I'm like, okay, you're both average, so I'm like both six. Yeah, all right. just equalizes all. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Eight. Eight. Do you think other people would agree? Yeah, All right, let's see. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? A zero. zero. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's a bit. <laughs> zero. They're they're chilling. Okay. They're they're joking. I, they're joking. I'd assume so because no. I'm like, what? No. Nah, am, am I just generous or just like? I, I, I give it eight point five. She posed for the picture. Okay. It's 8.5. Yeah. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? I myself a seven. Seven. All right, Whoa. let's see what people say. What would you rate this guy seven on a scale of one to ten? Seven is the most common answer. Three. People. All right, what would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Myself. Yourself. Um, probably 8 or 9. 8 or 9? All right, let's see. Yo, what do you guys rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, 8.5. 8.5? All right, what would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Solid 8. Do you think other people would agree? Oh, yeah. 8, eight is like, I mean, that's that's 8th percentile. Like, that. that's just... Even if you do believe it, you got to realize that since people have such range in their opinions, mm. that just ranking yourself that high is, mm. it, it's hard. It's I hard, would right? argue oh. also, if, if you're a six and you believe you're a 10, maybe that bumps you up to an eight, just because maybe you're more confident in the way you approach people. But it but could also bump you down. In these photos. It could the also... thing is you can't see the confidence in the photos. Yeah. But confidence 100% in like interaction, but just like ranked off like appearance. That's the thing. Mm. Like I 100% agree. I've seen people that are objectively not the greatest. They didn't win the genetic lottery, but mm. they just have some kind of like charisma and confidence and they mm. just, they, they can really secure anyone because yeah. the confidence factor and just like who you are as a person and the confidence you bring is so important. Yeah. However, you can't tell that in a photo. So this yeah. is truly just based off your looks in a photo. What would you rate this girl on a scale of one to 10? Uh, All right, what are we giving her? I'm giving seven. Yeah, yeah I say, uh, what did she give herself? Oh, we yes. don't know. Yeah. I'd say probably gonna give him a seven, eight. Frank. Six point seven. Six point seven. All right. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Uh, an, an eight. Do you think other people would agree? Uh, yeah, yes. That's a tough question. Well, what he does you... got the yeah, Santa pants because of his pants. Oh, I you will know what? I, I I think I think he could secure a high number. I feel I like do. he's he ain't rizzed out clothes, but um, I don't know. You rate this guy on a scale of one to ten. A seven. What would you rate yourself on a scale okay, of one? It's close to an eight. Uh, like an eight. Do you think other people would agree? Maybe. Yeah. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? 6. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 6. Do you think other people would agree? I hope so. What would you rate this guy on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm gonna go with an 8. 6 eight? out of 10. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm gonna okay. go 11 out of 10. An 11? That's a new one. I'm bro. gonna choose an answer that... Okay, this this gotta be a troll, bro. There's no way. You can't give an answer that isn't even real. You can mm. only lose. That's asking to get roasted in the comments. There's like studies that come out of dating, uh, dating app uh, websites, because they have mm. a ton of data. 
Mm. It's really interesting. Because like with dating apps, they don't admit this, but I do truly believe that they have an ELO score for each individual Bruh. based on swipe <laughs> left and right. From that, they're able to figure out who is objectively a 10 based mm. on the photos they've submitted and the user behavior, and who is mm. a one and the range in between. So they've actually matched up guy and girl, one mm. to 10, one to 10. Mm. And there is very clearly like, it's like two to 10 girls will only be with like guys seven and up. And the guys mm. six and below are just like not even in the picture. Like it's not proportional. It's not like oh, 10 yeah, to 10, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, there's like a study like 80 percent of women go for the top 20 percent of men i've seen that around i, I yeah. don't know what those things are based off of but i've heard the I've heard i mean the it's pretty that. obvious it i don't think anybody would disagree true. with that it's like it, it seems relatively true from what yeah. i've seen but i, I well, can't base it but yeah i, I mean obviously there is still the 20 percent who'll go for anybody else or whatever but it's, it's evolutionary i think because like obviously females mm -hmm. want to secure partner to take care of them or whatever yeah. i guess men are just <laughs> competing i don't know what would you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? Seven. Seven. all right what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten five what would you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten he probably is, get higher um, than honestly a solid six what would you rate yourself All on a right. scale of 1 to 10? Honestly, I love myself, but I would always give like a 7.5. Do you think other people would agree? Okay. Honestly, Successful. because like, yes, my personality is good, but like my look- My personality is good. I'm calling cap on that. I will take off this guy's cap, put it on her. My personality is good. No, no shot. I will, I will say though, I have to give her a little bit of credit because she said, I feel confident in myself, but I'm going to give myself a 7.5. Instead of saying, I'm confident in myself, I'm giving myself an 11 out of 10. I'm so taking... maybe, maybe, you know what? I don't have an, I don't have an I'm taking your 7.5. I'm demoting you to a 6.5 because of the way Damn. you said the personality. I Pegasus, don't know. The Pegasus oh, score is brutal, that. but maybe Why more true than mine. It, it's it's just facts. I only speak facts. Take it or leave that it. That personality will get me going. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? You better be careful. I'm going to give her about a 2, honestly. <laughs> what would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? That brutal. is brutal. That's real. Chill, dude. Like oh my god. <laughs> he got me choking, bro. Whoa, Holy. 2? You think mm. she's in the bottom 20th percentile? Have you seen think, the distribution? I don't know. I don't think they're calculating that in their head when they answer this. I think it's a okay, spur yeah, of the I'm, moment I'm, thing, I'm but a yeah. Nerd, but. Mm. <laughs> I don't think they I mean, got that Excel it, chart. It up on a percent. Yeah, actually, they would not. <laughs> what would you rate this guy on a scale of 1 to 10? Like a 6.2. 6.2? All right, what would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Point two. Like a 7 and a half. All right, why 7 and a half? Blondes are all people's types. That is cap. Yeah, I mean, whenever you have a statement that's like all people, then obviously you're that not going to get it. I mean, a lot of people, at least in the United States, a lot of people do like blonde girls and you'll get yeah, bonus yeah. points. I mean, like, I don't there necessarily is a, have that bias. There is a again. beauty standard. Was it blue eyes, blonde hair, pale skin? That is the beauty standard. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Where is he that Dude, there's he like this endless supply of girls and guys just ready to answer? And surprisingly, they're all like above average looking. Like, I don't know. You must you pick them out. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You'd probably get higher. All right, let's see. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? Respectful answer. Four. Four? Oh, harsh. What? what? Whoa, chill, dude. Uh, yeah. one. Ow, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I got a hobby. <laughs> okay. Someone gave himself a one. You can only go up from here. Maybe Actually, you could get a zero theoretically. A but... What would you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Oh, actually, you can't. I'd say five. Humans are worth okay. more than... Look, he five X to right, score. That's what great. What would you rate yourself yeah. on a scale of one to ten? Ten. Ten? Do you think other people would agree? Yeah. What would you rate well, that's his delusion okay. right there. <laughs> I, I feel like he was trolling a bit. I, I find myself saying that guys are trolling when they say they're 10. No, I, he was not trolling. Me. I'm, listen, I'm not discriminating not like serious. girls or guys. I'm telling by their tone. This guy on a scale of 1 to 10. Like a uh, 7 and a half. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? A straight. This is why you will never improve because your friends are constantly uh, validating you, okay? Yeah, you know what I like... get? I get a bunch of comments saying, Megasus, you suck ass, all right? <laughs> but come on. I, I can improve. Right? Yeah, we. I mean, I got that one person on your channel that every day is like, I <laughs> hate just Connor. hates Connor. <laughs> you know how I feel, man? <laughs> Perpetual hater uh, of Connor. Yeah, they're, um, I mean, they're a bigger fan than my actual fans, so I, I guess. Yeah, I'm a and I get, I get, I get like 50k people mad at me every time I say is a factual statement that people don't like. Okay, and that's like every yeah, few videos. My, my opinions are better than your facts. Yeah, just cringe. Right? Do you think you have game? I do. So you can get a guy's number right now. I feel as though. All right, we're gonna mic you up. And Why is she talking like Shakespeare, bro? I feel as though, like, bro. We'll see if you can, okay? Perfect. 
Hey, I have a question. Is there any way I could get your number? Do you actually yes, want Yes, please. Number? Okay, okay. Of course. Hold on. Where's my phone? Here it is. Here you go. <laughs> okay. What's your name? I'm Valerie. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Savannah, Georgia. What about you? I'm from Marietta, Georgia. Okay. Nice. She's, she's decent in conversation. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you, nice nice to meet you too. What would you Good rate work, her Riz on a scale like of one to ten? She, she's kind of sweet. Say. I like her. She's nice. I'll give her a seven. Why a seven? Because she was sweet about it. How easy was it to get his number? I feel like it was fun. Like, we just had a good conversation about where we're from. Yeah, it was good. Simple. I'm going to give her an eight because <laughs> she was sweet. I said very solid interaction. I can't mm. question about it. What would you rate your Riz on a scale of one to ten? Like a seven. <laughs> so you think you could get a guy's number right now? Yeah. All right, take this mic. Let's see what you can do. Excuse hey, are you me. Trying to interview can, me? Yeah, can I get your phone number? Yeah, I got you. Okay, perfect. What's your name? Max. Max. Nice yes. to meet you, Max. Nice to meet you too. I w this is so sus because they, she comes up with the mic. Like, come on. Yeah. What's he gonna do? Okay. I can see why they don't have the mic in future videos like this because it completely changes the situation from can I get your number like naturally to you're on TV, my friend. You better say yes. Like, I just feel like that's totally yeah. different. Um, and I just realized how. Like, everybody is, like, willing to be stopped in the middle of the street when they're going to their destination or whatever. I guess I need to reevaluate my life. I'm never, like, idle, ever. I'm always doing something. So if you stop me, I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm leaving now. <laughs> I gotta do something, yeah. so... I don't know. Not put your phone number in. Whatever. Oh, right. He put just his name in. There you go. Thank you, man. What would you rate her Riz on a scale of 1 to 10? 8.5. Why 8.5? She's gorgeous. She got style. I like her hair. Beautiful. She's gorgeous. That's oh, the reason yeah, she got to make some five. <laughs> really <laughs> unfortunate when they realize that this is just for TikTok and that she's probably not going to follow through. Apparently, the dude was so nervous he only wrote her name. This is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't laugh too hard because I would probably just write like the wrong name and forget to put my number in at all. So I. I'd say bye, bitch. What the f are you doing <laughs> approaching me with a mic? This is sus as. I'd be like, I have to go make YouTube videos. Exactly. <laughs> I got these bunch of people watching me. I gotta, uh, I've dedicated my existence to them. Come on. Plus, how easy was it to get his number? Easy, I just asked. <laughs> I mean, I usually play hard to get, but like, she's beautiful, so. Her looking good was all the risk she needed. Of course. In a lot of cases. They don't even have to try, bro. Just, just exist. What the heck is this? Too easy. Some, people some have it too some easy. Got the RNG luck, bro. I don't know what to say. How easy do you think it is to get a guy's number down here? Pretty easy. <laughs> what would you rate your Riz love on a scale of one to ten? Oh. <laughs> she <laughs> has like a ten out of ten Riz. Ten out of ten Riz. Go get a guy's number. Okay, wait. Now I need to find no, right someone. There. Okay, they're doing something, but I will. Wait, no. Excuse me. Can I get your number? Yeah. yeah? Okay. He knows. He knows. Yeah, this is a high IQ. Good. High IQ individual. He, uh, he he knows, but he's playing along. I'm for real. I'm for real. What's your name? Why is she cap it? She cap it. Yeah. Aaliyah. Thank you. All right. Real quick. What would you rate her Riz on a scale of one to ten? A smooth little eight and a half. Why an eight and a half? I don't know. She just came up a little smooth. You know what I'm saying? I like normal. Like, can I get your number type? So you like Yo. the confidence. Yo. How easy was it to get his number? It was pretty easy. <laughs> pretty easy? You guys gotta step it up a little bit. How easy do you think? Why, why would you want to make it harder? I have no wait, idea. Wait. Uh, maybe she's saying like other stuff, but... Maybe she's saying he's too easy, so he needs to be harder or whatever. But he, I, I, he, he literally said he's, he's only doing it for the video because this is probably a prank or whatever. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, 10. Do you think other people would agree? Of course. Well, what would you rate her on a scale of 1 to 10? How conceited do you have to be, bro? You got a high ranking no matter, like, she'd probably get a high ranking for most people, but to say, like, oh, I'm a 10 and of I course. I sense zero sarcasm from her voice. I don't know. Maybe they're being yeah. sarcastic. Maybe I'm just delusional, but that sounded completely real to me. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? I would be a 10 and everyone else would say that I'm a 10 too. Incredible. I agree. Good job. That's I'm going to revamp my answer. I would be a 1 out of 10. But uh, I'm a billionaire, so that would bump me up to a three. I'm also giga famous, so that would bump me up to a six. <laughs> I go gym, so maybe in like two years I'll get a six point five. You're be also my featured cap. on the on the more Pegasus channel. So oh yeah, okay, ten out of ten. I'm sorry, guys. And if you're a viewer, a subscriber, more Pegasus. If you smash like on this video, you're a ten out of ten. And I ain't capping. All right, bye bye.